there, this is Link Game Reviewer, and yeah, welcome to Command & Conquer Red Alert. Oh man, when you say the word, or uh, like a strategy game, what do you think? Uh, is it Company of Heroes, is it Shogun 2, is it, man, uh, XCOM or Civ, to a certain point? Well, to me, it's Red Alert, yes, imagine, like, <laughs> I know this may be really stupid, but for me, like, strategy game, I just think of Red Alert, and... There's a special reason for that, which I'll go a bit later on. There's a special reason why, but... Beside the special reason, I mean, I spend way too much time with this game, and it just offers way too much. It's probably because of the story, which is in a, like, a alternate World War II era. You know what? Let's... Let's take a look at it right now. Well, just for a bit, while I give you the introduction. The... Developers are Westwood Studios. Unfortunately, they got bought by EA and they got, well, I wouldn't say bought, I would say uh, slaved and raped, unfortunately. Personally, I think of Westwood as a good company because of that. When they made strategy games, for whatever reason, there's not supposed to be an emphasis on the story or the cutscenes, but yeah, this, this is it. This was Westwood's... I would say key signature, the awesome cutscenes, yes, what you're facing right now is Albert Einstein, which he's going to go into the past, he's going to meet Hitler, I'm going to let you meet him, of course, and he's going to have to, well, he's going to have to, <laughs> he will kill him. The publisher is Virgin Interactive, not much to say about him, don't want to, but anyways, yeah, like I said, this is an alternate version of the World War II era, huh, here he is, our beloved Hitler. I would say, in a really weird way. And, uh, yeah, he's gonna die. And the Soviet will come to power. And later on, you'll see the Brotherhood of Nod come, like, just taking over. So, <laughs> man, this is great. And because of that, you got the Allies, which are the mostly... I guess it's like a mirror of uh, the Americans, I guess. And there's another one, which is the Soviets, which come to power, of course. Well, instead of uh, Germany. And because of that, boom, you got Red Alert game. And in this one, you can, of course, start a new game. Difficulty selector. And you can choose your sides, which is really great, because you got both uh, allies in Soviet stories, which is really excellent. You got the custom missions, which are the, um, what do you call them, the expansion packs, which were, were very expensive at that time. Today would be, oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Expansion packs, well, expansion missions, same thing. There, there's a lot of missions, and if you're sick and tired of all of those, of the storyline, of, uh, let's see here, the expansion missions and the custom missions, there's always the multiplayer. At that time, yes, you had serial play, modem play, you had network and internet play. But you can go in skirmish, you choose your side here, you type in your name, your color, you choose the map. Which, besides, there is a level editor that allows you to make your own map. You uh, activate some options here, easy, normal, or hard. And then what you got is this. Yes, I am playing uh, Red Alert in the cncnet.org version, which means... Uh, this is a certain skirmish game, just like version, uh, just against one AI, by the way. And this is a... A, a modified version of uh, Red Alert. It's I can play on my on my 1080p screen and uh, well, except for the cutscenes, they do suck and it's still like the original one, which is well to me it's like a nostalgic feeling. So uh, it's you know it's I don't know I I just love it. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind getting a some kind of. Uh, reboot of that or well no not reboot but remake or something just a better version to make sure it works but now it's like freeware so you got it just go on google and uh, you're probably gonna find it like uh, open ra there's a bunch of others there's a bunch of mods the game is free by the way so you can't get better cheaper than, well you, you can't get cheaper than that it also runs on any type of computer i mean i played this on my 46 why do i what concrete wall? No. And yeah, so anything can just run this thing. Like if you have a dual core with four gigs of RAM, yeah, you can run this very, very, very easily. That's why I'm talking about this one in this cheap games for uh, cheap computers uh, series. That's why. 
So the game is really easy to use. Unfortunately, uh, the AI, it's, it's, well, not the AI, but um, like the UI, it's good, but it needs some work. But maybe in the OpenRA version, which I haven't used before, that changed, I think, because you can't queue up your, your construction commands. Like if you want more infantry unit, it, it, it doesn't uh, like queue up to, well, whatever, just like a StarCraft, for example which is really weird but yeah i mean it's it's really easy to learn but at the expert level or against other players it can get really like really really tricky it doesn't really take that much and, and that's probably one of the i would say what um i would say why people love that game a lot because of the like our re, uh, not reality reference but the units uh the time the story everything uh, had a link to our what real life kind of war which means like the units soldiers rocket soldiers grenades you already know what they do like a heavy tank and then you're gonna get like the mammoth tank you got the uh, power advanced power barracks you already know all of this even though you didn't look at the manuals or the reference card or any videos on the internet you already know what they do you almost don't need any help to play this game the only thing you need help is, well, a strategy, because you're going to probably die a lot of times. Or, well, in this game, if you play the uh, the campaign series, it's really easy. It's really not that hard. Oops. I'm going to go there. Activate my radar. Boom, I got it. Whoops. Better get some advanced uh, power there. He's going to start to attack. And... The cinematic, like I said, it's really amazing, but it is really, really, really cheesy, and I don't care. You know what? Let's take a look at that. Uh, let's go aboard the mission. Oh, I failed. Let's go look at that. Start a new game. Yeah, let's put it to this, and we're going to go with allies. Oh, I can't wait to see that, Tanya. <laughs> ah, she's sexy. What can I say? Yeah, this was the kind of cutscenes I was looking at all the time this was great well it's still great if you ask me you also got uh, like online play uh, LAN and the internet and everything which means you can install the game oh yes that's Tanya a commander uh, a commando I mean and uh, anyways uh, yeah you, it uses some kind of IRC interface so you can go on the internet go into a chat room for example and play on the internet with red alert in 2016 Yes, this is how great this game is. It's freeware. You can play on the internet with your friends. And this is the classic kind of um, strategy game. It's not like today's game as in rock, paper, scissors. As in each enemy as a weakness and another enemy like, a, like each unit as a weakness. That's what I meant. In this one, it's completely the, the opposite. Like your faction has a weakness. It has a strength. Work with it. That's it. That's what it was as well in World War II and everything. So to me, it makes a lot more sense. But I think it was like they wanted to do something different at that time. I I think. But anyways, which means, for example, um, like the Allies, if I remember, they're really strong when they look. Whoops, I'm gonna probably here you go. They're really strong when they look at uh, when you look at the uh, sea, for example, because they got cruise missiles and well, they got more units, they got more power. Unfortunately, uh, the Soviets aren't strong with that one. So instead of using another similar units, which would uh, like modern era kind of uh, like uh, any kind of modern era um, kind of game, ah shit, and she's dead. Mission. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, that ore truck really, yeah, that was a failure. Uh, instead, what they do is this. Deal with, oh, shit, yeah. Soviets got everything now. That's my fail cutscene. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's restart that. Oh, yes, I'd like to replay. So you got to rely on different strategies. Uh, for example, the defense of the Soviet is really really strong and oops this time I'm gonna I'm not gonna lose here we go and the Soviets are really strong with the defense I mean you can use the Tesla coil and you're gonna pretty much murder everything around so yeah that's gonna be really awesome
No, let's kill this, kill that. You can go ahead with Tanya, for example, so you can use different strategies. So let's do that. Let's look, let's use Tanya, for example. Let's get Albert Einstein to us. And that's it, mission done. Or uh, what I can do is pick up all my units here, destroy every single thing in the world, and complete the mission. So it's different routes, different uh, directions, different strategies, but like in the end, it's the same goal, it's the same cutscenes. Uh, and also in the map selector screen to, well, to a certain point, you're gonna have access to different type of missions using, it's gonna be different, oh shit. Better get out of there. It's gonna be different uh, missions. Well, it's the, no, I mean, it's gonna be the same mission, but different maps. Oops. And that's it. Completed the mission. Probably get a better score by, like, destroying everything else. But anyways, that's what this uh, this game is. And about the AI, that's one of the biggest things. I mean, a, a lot of people will tell you that the AI is normal. It's really good. Personally, I think it sucks. It's one of the games that has the worst AI in my life. And I'm not exaggerating here. But... For whatever reason, I still find it fun because when you play against other players, holy shit, it's something different. Uh, for example, you got an enemy. Wait, where's my cursor? Okay, cool. So, for example, you got an enemy in front of you. You want to attack him. You got a like a soldier near him. He's not going to attack him because his range is like it. It really sucks. It lacks basic AI functions as is. As in, when you attack an enemy, what's the range that I want to attack him? Like, is it 10 meters? If if he's within 10 meters, I want to attack him. Uh, like, Dark Rain has had those features. Same thing for the for all of your units. Like, what's the range for me to attack him? What's the range for for me to attack and go back? You had different kind of script uh, for the like script the behavior for the game. That's at the same time, and probably even older uh, strategy game that had that kind of thing. The only good thing that I can find about this uh, game regarding the AI is probably the waypoint system and the formation. And, well, you can also scatter. Like, for example, you take your units here, and you press X, and you just scatter around. Y you're going to need this only because of the... Uh, I would say like the heavy uh, kind of vehicles that will, well, I mean heavy kind of vehicles. I mean any kind of vehicle that will go up to you and just probably murder you. So yeah, you're going to need to move and you're going to need to move a lot. That's giving me free units here. There you go. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> but it is good. Uh, what other thing that's really stupid here? Uh, the AI for whatever reason, like if you have a, if you have Soviets. Wow. If you got Soviets, for example, holy shit, no, kill him. And uh, you got a, um, like the Tesla coil, for example, and you're trying to defend. And like the enemy, which is the ally, like the allies will try to kill you. So what What the units, well, what not, the god damn it, I can't even speak today. What the enemy will do usually is that he'll try to go uh, to attack you all in one shot. That's what the uh, like the enemy does all the time, um, from units to soldiers to probably uh, like attack choppers, to a certain point, he's going to unleash everything on you almost all at the same time. The problem with this, it's not coordinating its attack so that you'll so that he'll succeed. In other words, using V2 rockets, for example, at first, and, well, probably long-range units, or units that cannot uh, be hit from, um, I would say, from uh, the Tesla coil. No, instead, he's going to unleash everything on you all at the same time, which is really weird. It's a stupid AI. That's what I That's what I told you. It's, it's really stupid, but against players... Oh man, it's it's really good if you ask me. But anyways, that's what I meant about the AI. There's also like a level editor, which I'm not gonna show you here. But if you look inside the folder, uh, you're gonna find it. And <clears throat> I just love this game. I can't say anything better except for the <laughs> wow, 
Yes, it's not the best in AI, but it has a good story. Well, good story. I mean, it's a classic story. It's Allies versus Soviets. So, yeah, holy shit. I better go in the back with him. <laughs> yeah, I better do that. Better be careful with that one. Yeah, what if I kill? Not kill, but... Oh, go, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Good. There you go. He got grenades, so I got to work out the units that will probably be better. I can send him as cannon fodder just to scan out the map. And I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this, but I don't care. It's just for this little review, for this little video. It's not really a review. It's just, I would say, me playing the game. <laughs> can I do, let's see, let's see here. No, I can't do that. Build some engineers and capture the map. That would be awesome. Anyways, I just wanted you to talk about this game. As in, this is a really cheap game. It's for a cheap computer. And you can probably play on this computer if you have a dual core. Probably from Lenovo or something. Or some really cheap ass bastard kind of computer that's uh, locked up in a basement somewhere. Take it out and play this game with it. You're going to have a lot of fun. It's impossible for you to not have fun with this and tell your friends about it, because when you play Red Alert, you may probably want to try out the multiplayer, which is, and, like, like the game is not really easy, well, not easy, but not hard to install and use everything, you know? It's, it's really intuitive, it's not that really complicated. Anyways, I'm just going to stop babbling here. Late Game Reviewer out, and if you did like this video, uh, just uh, send me a comment. If you didn't like the video, again, send me a comment, and I'll take note of it. Anyways, see you later, guys.